that. But we gotta, <laughs> we gotta, we gotta let our uh, guest here. We got a special guest calling in, and we have Ooh. Ryan O'Flanagan calling in. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Ryan? <laughs> How's it going, man? All right, Thanks man. For having me. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for calling in. I'm Bill. I got Sean here. And, hey, Ryan. Uh, hey, fellas. So, what's going on? You call? Where are you calling in from right now? I am in my lovely uh, studio apartment in beautiful Los Angeles. Oh, All right. holy Probably a little, a little warmer out there today than it is here. I bet. <laughs> Only a it little. Is. It's a little. <laughs> It's a, it's a bit warm. I hate to complain, seeing what you guys are going through. <laughs> yeah, I think it's about 30 out right now. Yeah, it's probably going to drop. Oh, good Lord. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's still below freezing. Uh, in case you guys oh, are not aware, uh, Ryan starred in season one of American Vandal on Netflix that you can watch right now. Uh, he also does hilarious uh, viral videos, uh, both on his Facebook page and on Funny or Die. Uh, Ryan, while we have you, uh, talk to us a little bit about first, let's talk American Vandal. Uh, so when I first saw this, I thought it was actually just like a fake trailer uh, when it first started <laughs> oh, really? on like Twitter yeah. and Facebook, they, just because the premise seemed so ridiculous, you know, it's like the <laughs> like, yeah. like a true crime mockumentary kind of style where you know the premise of the the show is to find out who drew the dicks all over these teachers' cars. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then once I actually came across it on Netflix, like I I was really taken aback that it was actually a real thing. Uh, but in watching it, it was so so well done. And it it really did like after a while where you know the the shock value wore off like it actually got to be a really deep and interesting story where you got enveloped in it. Talk a little bit about your experience on that show. Yeah, I mean, yeah, even when we were uh, we were filming, and I didn't I didn't realize uh, how how good it was going to be or how how the thing is they took it so seriously, which was what made it so funny. I think because it is such a, a ridiculous premise. But even when we were filming it, I was like, I mean, reading the script, I was like, ah, this is just like, this is a, a lot of dick jokes here. <laughs> you know, how this, how people react to this. But then I, you know, it wasn't until I watched it at the, uh, we had like a, a viewing or a screening of the first couple episodes. And I was like, holy shit, these guys, they took it. So it just looks like a real documentary. Yeah. <laughs> actually, yeah, you do, you do get invested in it, which is, which is pretty cool. Now, from yeah, we had like a, okay. had like a, uh, a, a dinner with like the cast and the crew before we shot it. And the director gave like a little speech and he was like, we're not calling this a mockumentary. We're calling it a documentary. Cause I'm going to take it as seriously as possible. And I was like, yeah, whatever, dude, it's just a mockumentary. <laughs> but then it was what taking it seriously is what, what made it so good. Yeah, it really was. That was the, you know, one of the most endearing parts of the show is like I was saying, like you get so wrapped up in the story after, you know, all the, the dick jokes wear off. I mean, not wear off per se, but don't become as much of uh, the forefront of the show uh, to where you, know, right. you really just get into the story and trying to figure out the mystery. Um, now at the end, uh, spoiler alert! At the end of the season, the the culprit actually was not found. Uh, in your opinion, who drew the dicks? I mean, I've been telling everyone that it was Kraz, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, that's that's all I have. <laughs> yeah. No, but, you're, uh, you're part. Know, if I had to guess, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm on team uh, team Christy Carlisle. Okay. Now yeah. your part in the show as as the teacher, Mr. Kraz, um, was just a very outlandish guy. Like he's the teacher that you wanted to have while you were in high school. Yeah, the kind of <laughs> right. guy uh, jokes around, tries to relate to the kids as you know on their level as much. How much of your own right. personality was put into that part? Oh man, it was a lot because it was, it was all it was pretty much uh, all improvised or mostly improvised. Because the uh, the director, it's actually funny how I how I ended up getting the part. I uh, I met the director on a train <laughs> after this uh, after like a music festival out here in L.A. and everyone just like packs into this train and and gets out of there. It's like in, in downtown by USC or whatever. So we're all just packed in like sardines, you know. And this guy, you know, like ten ten people away or so, he yells out. He knew me from my my sketch group. I had a sketch group for a few years called Dead Kevin. And he goes, hey, man, you're in Dead Kevin. I was like, yeah, you know, and people kind of turned and looked like, oh, who's that guy? And then he just, he left, you know, he goes, yeah, you're funny, man. I'm a fan. I was like, oh, that's cool. And then he, uh, I get a message on Facebook a few days later. He goes, hey, man, that was me 
uh, on the train the other day. I'm actually directing a, a Netflix show. I was wondering if you wanted to, to read for this part. I think you'd be good for this part just because, like, I'm a fan of your of your sketch group. And I was like, yeah, sure. Stranger I met on a train. I'm sure you're directing a Netflix show. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Scam. Uh, but then I ended up, I went to it, and it was like, a, you know, a legit audition with, like, a, a respected, uh, you know, casting agent. I ended up getting the part. But because, you know, he knew my, my work pretty well at that point, he kind of let me just run with, you know, he let he said, here's some points you need to hit, and then just just let the camera roll for like 15 minutes, and I was just kind of just talk and be be ridiculous. Well, everything that you did worked out perfectly because not only was your part great, but that entire season was just absolutely hysterical. I loved every second of it. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, as far as season two goes, is that in the works? Are you coming back for that? What's up? Season two is in the works. They are filming it now, but it's a different school, so okay. it's a different cast. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not in it, unfortunately. But I kept trying to, you know, I kept trying to, to pander, you know, because <laughs> my character, spoiler alert, my character does, he gets fired, you know, in the midst of the season. So I could, I could theoretically be at a, a, a new school, you know, but they, uh, they felt that was, that was a little bit of overkill. So right. I'm not going to be in season two. Now, Ryan, uh, you know, you, you had mentioned uh, your sketch comedy group, uh, Dead Kevin. Uh, you know, I've been, uh, you know, ever since I got uh, turned on to you, um, you know, with the Funnier Die videos, uh, you know, I kind of went back and looked at some of the uh, some of the sketch comedy you guys did, which, you know, it, it's just so, you know, out there and like irreverent in, in many ways and stuff like that, uh, you know, which I love. Uh, you know, you said you're not doing that anymore now? We well, it's interesting. We we did. I mean, we did a sketch every every uh, Monday for like almost four years. We right. had like 150 something sketches. Yeah. And then that kind of kind of got sick of that after a while, so we kind of stopped. And we all got kind of busy, and you know, couldn't really do it anymore. And then I started doing these uh those funnier die videos. Right. Which were which were cool, and they got me like a, a lot of fans, which is cool. Yeah. They got me on the Sin Escape podcast. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> you know. But then it's like, I mean, those got, I mean, those got old for me pretty quickly. I got real sick of those after a while. So now yeah. it's like, now I kind of, I miss doing the Dead Kevin stuff, which is a little more, more acting and more kind of, I guess, art, if you want to call it that. So I, so I kind of miss doing that. So we actually just shot a, a new sketch a week ago, and we're actually going to bring it to Funny or Die and see if maybe they want to do some stuff. Because Funny or Die does want to keep working with me, hopefully on something. So I was going to. Bring that to them, see if they'd be interested in doing some some dead Kevin stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, hopefully we can, uh, you know, get back on the horse with those guys. Yeah. Now, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, for the general audiences, the you know overly excited tourists is you know obviously have you know haven't gone viral, um, you know, in the past months and stuff like that. Um, you know, obviously, I guess for you, you know, that's just such an easy character, I guess, to play. Um, you know, and obviously your your personality just rolls right through it and stuff like that. But how did you, you know, how did you basically just get into doing that character? And then, you know, obviously it snowballed into something for you. Uh, so, you know, can you take us through that that process a little bit? Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty crazy. You know, I actually, um, I just shot, the first one I shot was right on, on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. Which, you know, I was, I didn't know it was going to be like a series. I just... I put some sketches out on my Facebook just for, this is before I had like a fan page and stuff, yeah. just like on my personal page. Just, I thought it'd be funny to just be like a, a dumb guy on Hollywood Boulevard that's really excited to be there, but doesn't really <laughs> know what, what any, what any of the stars are or any, anything like that. Right. And, uh, you know, I didn't have like catchphrases or anything at that point. I just like, you know, I started saying, are you joking my ass? That's kind of just, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, just like, no, I mean, it, you, it you... sounded stupid. So I started <laughs> saying that, you know. And, that, and that's what worked. So I, I mean, put, obviously, the, the progression, you know, you, you could see it through your videos and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I remember, uh, you know, showing Sean here, you know, I was like, dude, you got to watch these videos, man. Like, they're they're so hilarious and stuff like that. And, like, you know, I think, you know, you watch one and you're like, okay, this is dumb. But then, you know, when you, when you, <laughs> you know, when you, when you watch them back to back progressively, you're just like. And when you're drunk. Too. And when you're drunk, too. <laughs> um, yeah. Which I don't, exactly. were, were you uh, drunk or under any other uh, narcotic influences while making those videos? 
I really wasn't. That was the worst part. <laughs> I was usually just stone cold sober, embarrassing myself. That's that's <laughs> great. So like so you remember it all. <laughs> I remember it all. But yeah, so I put that I put that first one out of my Facebook, and that ended up just getting shared a lot. Got like a hundred and something thousand views, and I. Uh, it was actually like the next day or two days later we had the the rap party for American Vandal. Yeah. Which uh, was an American Vandal was produced by Funnier Die. Right. So I was talking to talking to the guy that you know, the head guy at Funnier Die there and I said, Hey man, I made this video that kinda got some got a bunch of views. Maybe I'll send it to you to see if you wanna work on something. So I sent it to him and then we ended up making thirty some sketches together. Yeah. Now now did so, Funny or Die just like cool. send you places or were were you kinda of doing that stuff like, you know, while touring and doing stand up or how how did that go? Yeah. It's kind of a mix. It's it's mostly places where I was doing stand up, but then they started uh after a while they started like routing me through different cities yeah. that were kinda of, like in the area. Like I had a show in D C and they said, Well, we'll send you up to Philly and Baltimore and Pittsburgh while you're in the area. So That's awesome. Knocked out those three cities. Yeah. So let, cool. let me ask free you. Free state trips. So, so let me ask you, since you were in our, uh, you know, illustrious city of, uh, you know, uh, Philadelphia, uh, Pensacola here, and, um, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, what did you, you know, was this uh, your first time to Philly or, uh, you know, have you been here before? That was my first. It was my first time in Philly. Yeah. Okay. It was. It was. Oh man, that was that was my most uh, like stressed out day that i've had oh really man <laughs> it was like it was not not because you know the city was great but i specifically remember that morning because i remember it was on a sunday and i have to watch football on sundays yeah. or i lose my mind I'm a, I'm a big panthers fan if i miss the game out I, I i i go crazy yeah so i had to i had to drive from from dc i got up at like 5 a.m okay so i had to drive up from dc to philly and film the whole video which takes like four hours usually and then find a bar to watch the game, and then drive from Philly to Pittsburgh, and that was my whole day. Oh, so that man, was yeah, like a, uh... it was a nightmare. Now, where, yeah. where did you play? Um, uh, where did you do stand up when you were uh, here in Philly? I actually didn't do any shows there. I was no? just I was in uh, doing some shows in D.C. and then I had like three or two two days free, and then uh, a show in Virginia. So oh, I said, okay. oh, while I'm in the area, two free days, I'll just do a video of Philly, do a video video, and uh. Pittsburgh, and then go down to down to Virginia. Have you ever wanted to, uh, you know, do a set here in Philly? I mean, uh, you know, I I would you know, honestly love to see you live, and I mean, we have a, you know quite yeah, a few uh, great venues here as well. Um, I don't know if uh, I'd love to. Yeah, hopefully yeah. I can get out there one of these days. Yeah, I mean, we got a uh, helium down here, which helium is uh, punchline. Yeah, you know, Tom Green, I think is going to be yeah, here man, uh, next uh, week. Uh, but uh, you know, it, oh, nice. you know, I I, yeah, I get think, the word out. Yeah, <laughs> Tom Green, man, he's put in a good word for me. But uh, you know, I I, I feel like uh. You know, Philly gets overlooked a little bit on the uh, comedy scene here, and um, you know, definitely. Uh, yeah, man. You know, we would love, love to have you here in in our uh, great city, and uh, maybe uh, even in studio. In studio, yeah. I mean, we'd have to give you the real Philly tour, since uh, you know, oh, it sounds like on. you, uh, you know, had to just kind of rush in and out. So, um, yeah, I'd love to see the real city. Maybe so, by the by the next time I get there, you guys will be Super Bowl champions. That's <laughs> that right. Could That's be right. very possible. So. You Hopefully nothing. <laughs> it will happen. So, uh, Ryan, you, you mentioned you're a Panthers fan, right? So, are, you're, you're from a, Rhode Island, though, originally. Yeah, I was born in Rhode Island, grew up in Massachusetts. So you're not never, a... never a Patriots fan. Yeah. Oh wow! I got, a, I got a Panthers hat when I was uh, seven years old, and I just like the just like the cat. You know, yeah, <laughs> the, the, the colors the, drew you in, Iowa. right? Exactly. Yeah, when you're just a seven year old idiot, you're like, yeah, this, this is probably a cool team. <laughs> Jake, the Pats just win every Super Bowl. <laughs> Jake DeLome's the best. <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> I'm looking at a signed Jake DeLome picture right now. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so let me ask you. Uh, you know, before uh, you called in, we were actually going over our uh, Super Bowl predictions. Uh, kind of, you know, you know, putting our uh, our scores out there. Do you have uh, any uh, score predictions for us? I'm gonna. Say, are you guys all Eagles fans? You're gonna oh, be yeah. mad if I go against the Eagles. No, okay. no. I mean, I'm gonna say. I think it's. I'm gonna say uh, 28 to 20. Pat. Uh, that interview's wow. over. <laughs> our uh, <laughs> our our engineer actually said that same score too, other but around. other way yeah. around. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. Oh okay. Okay. I mean, I can see it going either way. I yeah. Think, uh, you know. 
It'll be a good one. All right, well, how about a friendly wager? If you are right, uh, you can name something that we have to do for you. Uh, if we are right and our <laughs> Eagles win. <laughs> he uh, has to come here. Yeah, when you are in Philadelphia, uh, you have to come into the studio and hang out with us for a little bit. A little prop. Deal. Deal. Right. Done deal. Well, Book it. I <laughs> like it. Time mark. I will that, also. Jamie. I will also do that <clears throat> if I win, though. Too. I just okay. want to hang out with you. Guys. Yeah. Right. Either way, he's coming in. <laughs> he's coming in. <laughs> it's perfect. I like that deal. Yeah. We'll take yeah, a note. Really the the mic now. This bet, man. <laughs> yeah. So what's your uh, what's your game plan for tomorrow? Are you watching the game with a bunch of friends at a bar at home? What's your uh, Super Bowl? Yeah, party? I'm just going to go to my friend's place. Got the. Uh, a professional TV, a nice big grown-up TV. So I'm <laughs> some pizza. Yeah, that's perfect. That's all you need. Now, Ryan, do you believe in uh, superstitions when when it comes to sports? Because you know, I, I had you know ran a few things by Sean here uh, earlier, and he was you know he basically you know get, you know gave me the commissioner kibosh on certain things. He was like, no, you can't do that. You know, I was you know asking him you know what jersey I should wear tomorrow and stuff like that. Like I just got a. <laughs> I just got a black Carson Wentz jersey uh, like two weeks ago, a um, little overdue. But, uh, you know, I was like, oh, I don't know which jersey to wear. And he was like, well, did you wear that jersey, you know, during any other game yet? And I was like, no, it's, you know, hasn't even really been broken in. He's it's, like, well, it's you, not game tested. You, know, you, you can't wear it. Not game tested, he told me. So I can't uh, wear can't it. can't wear it. Nope. Are you, oh, uh, man. you prone yeah. to any superstitions I'm, like that when it comes to your sports team? I don't, not at all. I mean, I you know, I usually I go straight uh, straight Panthers T-shirt. I usually go to this bar. I actually had to switch bars that I, I usually watch this game at this bar by my apartment for a couple of years now. Yeah. And this year it it became an Eagles bar. The oh, Eagles wow. fans took it over, and then it was just no fun for anybody. <laughs> I'd be fun for and us though. Have, we do that sometimes. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You guys and your your that's... chants, the no the no one likes us chants. Yeah, you know? that's a go. I like that one. <laughs> that's, that's one of the newer ones we've been throwing out there. Oh yeah, it's very, it's very, it's very like you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we take it all as a compliment. That's okay. <laughs> uh, Ryan, as we're getting ready to wrap up here, um, you know, where, you know, what are some of the next uh, projects that we can look forward to seeing you doing? I know you've been doing more, uh, you know, Facebook videos. That I've been watching. I know you just had something pulled the other day because you showed like gay porn on that one video. <laughs> hey, man, I, put it back up. I figured out how to blur it out. Real quick. <laughs> well, I had to repost this. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, man. I uh, well, I got my first uh, Comedy Central special coming out. Oh, like, sweet. Right. yeah. Oh, filmed, there we go. Filmed a little uh, little half hour. That'll be out in I think April. Okay. And uh, we'll be looking and I'm for on that this, one. This new uh, this new new Comedy Central show called Corporate. That's uh, that just came out, and I think they're on episode like four right now. I think I'm on episode uh, six. It so should be in a couple of weeks little nice. little cameo i've been looking yeah. forward to checking that out i've seen a lot of commercials for it yeah yeah it's pretty funny awesome definitely man well yeah, ryan man. you know uh you know where uh where can everybody uh find you on the uh on the interwebs i am uh mostly at ryan o'flan across the board ryan o'flan on instagram and twitter and venmo Please Venmo me. <laughs> and I think uh, I think Facebook is Ryan O'Flanagan Comedy. Yeah, check me out. Solid man. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll send you some money. You know, on Venmo just for uh, you know for shits please, and giggles. Please yeah. Do. For... <laughs> uh, we'll make sure uh, Ryan that we have all of your links posted in our show notes, so when that goes out, everybody can find you online. Uh, we just wanted to cool. say thank you so much for uh, dealing with our technical difficulties uh, as you're trying to call in, uh, and yeah, you know, just talking shop with us for a little bit. Yeah, next time that you're in our area, you know, feel free to hit us up. We'll hang out, uh, bring in the studio and show you around the city a little bit all right sounds good thanks for having me guys sounds right, good man lot, ryan ryan Holy Snopes. lanagan everybody <laughs> what a wonderful interview that was awesome guy hilarious anything that i've ever seen him in make sure that you check him out on american vandal season one on his funnier die videos uh on his facebook videos find him wherever you can check him out doing stand up somewhere uh he's just a, a really funny guy Dude, he is man he cracks me up